Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create an interactive chart using WPS spreadsheet. If you look at the chart, there are three data elements. One is revenue, then gross margin, and then net profit percent. At any point of time, if I would like to show only limited information, for example, I would like to show only revenue, but not all. You can see by clicking on the checkbox, only one element is appearing. And later on, if I wanted to add GM to the chart, I can add it and accordingly NP as well. Now also you can see the chart is with different infographics. I have added a pencil graph. You can add any graph to the chart the way you want using WPS spreadsheet. Now let me quickly explain how to create this chart and how to make this kind of very nice interactive chart. To create this chart, I'm using the information of uh, seven years containing revenue, gross margin and net profit data. The first step is to create the checkbox through which I can control the data. To go to the checkbox, you need to go to the developer tab and then select the checkbox. Add to the spreadsheet. I can create two more checkboxes by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V, a small copy paste option and aligning the checkboxes like this. Maybe somewhere here. Now I need to rename these checkboxes as revenue, gross margin and net profit percent. For that, right click on the checkbox and go to properties. In the properties window, go to the caption and change this to revenue. And you'll find one option linked cell. Select that and select any link. You can just type it. The link is here. I would like to see this is a C. So below C, I think a C13 is better. C13. And then I need to select second one. Go to the properties and change the caption as gross margin. Cell link will be D13. Now the third one properties change the caption to net profit percentage and select linked cell and write it as E13. Once I need to make sure that this uh, I'm in the design mode now I need to come out of the design mode and then if I select revenue and gross margin and net profit you will find true wherever whichever cell you selected in that cell you will get true when you unselect any one checkbox accordingly it will become false and this is my controlling point based on that I can generate or regenerate additional data the next step is to recreate the data using a function so that that data will be controlled by these checkboxes and then I can create the chart. For that, let me have the headings as it is. Now I need to write the function if wherever the true false is appearing, I'm just selecting that and making a row constant then I need not mention specifically whether it is true or false to Excel because it's a logical field created through a function, I mean a control box or control option. So obviously Excel can understand whether it is true or false. If it is true, Excel will do whatever we are telling. That is, if it is true, please get this value. Otherwise, just create a, an error, any error. And then I'm just copying and pasting across control D control R. Everything is NA because nothing is selected here. If I select revenue, you'll see revenue is coming. If I select gross margin, you'll set gross margin is coming. If you select net profit percent, you can see that. I want to change the format control C and then alt E S T T is format and press OK. You can see now the, all the format is same. Now the second step is over. So when I select unselect revenue, unselect gross margin and unselect net profit percent, the values are disappearing and an error is appearing. 
If I select revenue, gross margin and net profit, my values are back. Now I need to create a combo chart. So I'm just keeping the cursor on it and I'm just going to insert, select a chart and select the combo chart and make the line chart as secondary. And then you got the chart. Maybe you can just select it. The chart is created. Now, if I select revenue, you can see only, I mean, I'm unselect revenue. So revenue is disappearing. Gross margin, net profit percent. If I select revenue, I can discuss about revenue. If I select gross margin, I can discuss about both revenue and gross margin. And if I remove revenue and add and net profit percent, I can discuss only two things that is gross margin and net profit percent. So that easy it is. Now let us see how to make a nice infographic. I'm going to create another uh, video for this, but in this video, I'm just making it little time lapse so that you can see uh, the creation of the infographic is happening a little faster. And then I'm going to add that infographic to the chart. Before that, let me make this line chart formatted. So selecting the line chart, right click, and then format data series. There I'm going to the fill and line. Their marker has to be built in and marker has to be a round marker and the marker has to be a little big. And I want to add color to it, a gradient fill, and then make let me make it a little big, and then I want to add data labels. If I add the data label, the labels are coming uh, in the right hand side of the right hand side of the bubble. I need to make them in the center. So format data label and make them center so they are on the center of the bubble. Now I need to make the color of the text to white and make it bold and increase it. Now it's appearing nice and if I don't select net profit percent it is not coming. If I select net profit percent it is coming. Now we need to add the infographic. Now let us see how to create an infographics chart using a bottle. I've just copy pasted this bottle from Google images. I'm just copying the bottle, control C, select one bar on which you want this bottle picture to appear because I want to show the revenue with a bottle and then right click format data series and go to fill and line or color where you can say picture or texture and I'm selecting the picture from the clipboard because I've just copied it now. You can see the bottle is coming. It's not very so good, but I can make it a little small so that you can see the bottle. So that way you can create any chart using this kind of infographic and just copy paste. You need to select it and then you need to right click, go to the format data series, select fill and line, select the picture and select the picture either from file or from the clipboard. Now you can see the additional thing is also coming like this. So I can just now take out this bottle and now if I use this chart, now if I select revenue, only revenue is appearing if I am selecting, unselecting GM that way. So let me select revenue, let me select gross margin, let me select net profit percent. Hope you like the video and if you have any questions, please mention them in the comment section. And if you like it, please share with many and try to experiment with WPS spreadsheet. It's very nice application available many nice features in it. Thank you.